Hey, last time. All right, run it one more time. We're going to wrap up, get up out of here. Hey, uh, Coach, right? Coach Jackson? Yes, sir. What's going on? Hey, uh, I'm, I'm Roger. Marcus is dead. Okay, okay, okay. Nice to meet you, Roger. What's nice going on with you? Um, not, I just wanted to talk to you for a little minute. Yeah, yeah, time. sure, sure. We better get up out of here. Okay. What's going um, on with you? No, nah, I just want to talk to you about Marcus. Um, mm -hmm. I noticed he's been, you know, a bit different on the field. Yeah. Uh, I just, I know a lot of times you usually, like, yell at him, uh, mm -hmm. talk loud to him. Yeah. Um, I'm just not sure how he's taking it. And I'm, I'm just thinking that may be the, the difference. So, um, if we could tone it down a bit, it'll that'll be fine. You, yeah, sure, sure, sure. I tell you what, I I can do that very well. But I tell you, let, just let me give you this perspective. Uh, <clears throat> I I heard you say you didn't know how he was taken. Yeah. It's, it's well, let me, let me break it down for you like this. Right now, he's been here three years, right? I've been here two of those years. Prior to me getting here, I think we can all both, you know, we can both agree, Marcus. You know, he wasn't the best player. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but over the, the, the years, he's been developing. You know, he's been getting better. He's been a lot more, uh, you know, a, a, a higher cheaper, if you will, on the field. You know, he's just been better. You know, more touchdowns, more more aggressiveness, more. You know, he's just there. Wouldn't you agree? Yep. Yeah, yeah I, I I think so. And and uh, that he... and that's the difference, right? So so w w it's because I'm in his behind. You know, I, I don't I don't take no mess. I don't, I don't, I don't call no trouble. I like to be on him. I like to be firm. Marcus is a good kid, man. You know, he's, yeah, he's, he's I, very smart, but he requires a lot more, uh, you know, muscle. He requires a lot more of a knocking on him. You know, and I, and I know from the outside looking in, listen, man, I get parents all the time. Okay, all the time come up to me and telling me their sons are being singled out. But I can assure you, Marcus is, 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 is he's fine. Yeah, he, you know, he, and, he's and, just, you know. It, listen, you know, he's he's just like my son. You know, I wouldn't treat him any differently than I do anybody else. You know, okay. I treat him right, I treat him nice. And so what I'm telling you is, I want to make sure that he's the best that he can possibly be. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So I will, for your sake, you know, let him be whatever he wants. You know, and, and take, take the gas off the pedal if that's what you want. But I can yeah, only tell you, I'm only doing it for his own good. All right? Yeah. So I, you, you make a stand now. You know, if you want me to take off the gas, I will. But I, I got to tell you, man, I run a tight ship. You understand? Yeah. So, you know, what we want to do, man? Um, can I lean into him and just make him the best that he can possibly be? I it's, promise it's, I'll be nice to your boy. If it's going to make him the best, then that's fine. It's, uh, you got I just my don't word. want him to be singled out. Listen, you got my word, man. All right? All right. Now, I'm a dad just like you, so I know. <laughs> huh? No problem. Okay, listen, we'll talk to him. We'll talk to him about it make sure he's all right, though. Okay. Okay, appreciate you, brother. All right. All right. Thank you. Yes, sir.